Well, good morning. Well, today we're going to be talking about a story out of Acts chapter 6. But before we get started, I'm going to have a moment with your mom. So while I do that, why don't you go ahead and get out your Bible, look up Acts chapter 6, verse 8, and Acts is in the New Testament right after Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay, so moms, from the Lesson 12 packet, this is what I need you to get out. The kids are going to need the copy of the megaphone. They'll need a pair of scissors, a stapler, some tape, and crayons or markers or stickers if you want to let them play with stickers. I understand if you don't. Okay, so kids, are you ready? Today we are learning that we're brave for Jesus. And before we start on our story, I'd like to look at your memory verse. So your memory verse for the last couple of weeks has been in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. And that says... So go and make followers of all people in the world, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so that's an important verse because that's what Jesus told us we're supposed to do. So we're supposed to tell other people about Jesus. And our Bible story today tells us about someone who did just that. And the man's name was Stephen. So in Acts, in your Bibles, chapter 6, verse 8, it says, Stephen was richly blessed by God. God gave him the power to do great miracles and signs among the people, but some Jews were against him. They belonged to a synagogue of free men, as it was called, and this synagogue was also for Jews from Cyrene and from Alexandria. Jews from Cilicia and Asia were also with them, and they all came and argued with Stephen. But the Spirit was helping him to speak with wisdom. And his words were so strong that they couldn't argue with him. So they paid some men to say, we heard him say things against Moses and against God. Now this upset the people, the Jewish elders and the teachers of the law. They came to Stephen, grabbed him and brought him to a meeting of the Jewish leaders. They brought in some men to tell their lies about Stephen. And those people said, this man is always saying things against this holy place and the law of Moses. We heard him say that Jesus from Nazareth will destroy this place. And he also said that Jesus will change the things that Moses told us to do. Now, all the people in the meeting watched Stephen carefully, and his face looked like the face of an angel. So Stephen started telling these people about their own history and all the things in their history and the times when they had doubted God. And he told the Jewish leaders that they had not given their hearts to God and that they don't listen to him. He told them that they were disobedient and that they had turned against Jesus and killed him and that they don't obey God's laws. Now, Stephen didn't get to tell them too much more about Jesus that day because the people got so angry that they threw rocks at him. And even as the people threw rocks at Stephen and hurt him, Stephen forgave the people because he knew Jesus loved them anyway. So here are some questions for you to think about. One, why is it important for us to be brave for Jesus? Two, what bad things can happen to you when you are brave for Jesus? And three, what good things can happen to you when you're brave for Jesus? Now, God's always pleased when we're brave for Jesus, and our story has a happy ending because the Bible tells us that before Stephen died, he saw heaven open and he saw Jesus standing by God. See, Stephen went to live with Jesus in heaven forever. Stephen told the truth about Jesus, and we can do that too. Now, we probably won't have as hard time as Stephen did, and we can be thankful for that. But God does want us to tell people why we believe in Jesus so that all people can live with Jesus forever in heaven. So your craft today is going to be a reminder for you to be bold for Jesus. So let's get our craft supplies ready. Okay, so you should have your megaphone copy and your scissors and your crayons, markers, or stickers right now. And your megaphone copy says that Jesus loves you or Jesus loves us. And that's true. That's the truth we want people to know and to understand. So before we cut this out, I want you to go ahead and decorate it if you want. You can put some stickers on it like, like I'm going to do. Or you could color it or um, 
put other things on there that you want to tell people about Jesus. And I'm just going to put a few stickers on mine because I like stickers. And when we're done, when you're all done with decorating your megaphone, I want you guys to go ahead and take your scissors and I don't want you to cut hair or fingers or anything else, but I want you to go ahead and cut out around the dark lines on your megaphone. And I've already done that with mine, but I'm gonna do it on here so that we, I can show you the steps for making this. So don't cut off the little tabs, you're gonna need those, okay? So we're gonna cut this out. And remember, not sister's hair, not your clothes, not your sister or brother's clothes either, and not the furniture, okay? So we're gonna use our scissors only for good things today, not for bad. All right, so let's do this and finish cutting this out. And then when you're all done cutting it out, and you know what, It's if you need help, it's okay to ask mom or an older brother or sister to help you because that's why they're there. They're there to help you. And get it all cut out all the way around so that it looks like this, okay? Then when you're all done, I want you to lay this flat on the table and these two little things on the side, we're gonna fold those up, okay? So I'm gonna fold it up towards the side I decorated, right on the black line, just like this. Do the same thing with the other side. Okay. All right, so now you've got two little wings on the side and you're gonna fold those around just like this so that they come together and then you need your stapler. So let's get your stapler, okay? Okay, no stapling fingers, only paper. So here we go. I'm gonna staple this right on those two little handles. One staple right in the middle just to hold it. And then I'm gonna take my tape and do you see where the edges come together right here? I'm gonna tape that close. So I want you guys to go ahead and get out your tape. And you're gonna need two little pieces of tape, okay? One for the top right here. And if it's too long, you can just fold it right up in the inside, okay? Just like that. And then I'm gonna take another piece of tape right here at the back, and I am gonna take this one the other way because that's easier. Tape that together just like that. And this is your handle, and this says Jesus loves us. And a megaphone is used to amplify your voice, so when you talk into it, your voice gets a little louder. Please don't drive your mommies and daddies crazy with these, okay? But these are, this is to remind you that we can be bold for Jesus because Jesus loves us and he wants us to tell other people all about that. So use this to remind you throughout the week to be bold for Jesus, to tell people about him because everybody needs to know. And I will see you back here next week when we're going to talk about a very special lesson for Memorial Day. See you later. Bye-bye.